Marcia says she thinks changing the background color in Camtasia Studio is obscure until you know how to do it. Uh, yeah, that's a good point too, so let's hit that one. So let's say I have a clip right here, and for some, let's say for some reason I wanted it to not take up the whole screen. Okay, so what you notice here is that, well, I have some real estate within the dimensions of what my video are going to be, and it's black. Well, in Camtasia, uh, if you didn't know this, you can actually change the default background color. So in other words, whatever doesn't completely fill the screen content-wise, this will obviously be visible. So if you, for your project, click right up here where you have your dimension settings, in other words, you're going to change your dimensions. Uh, well, we're not going to do that, but what I am going to do is change the default background color. So right here we have a color picker. And let's say I didn't want black, but I wanted a nice, uh, nice blue color. So at that point, anything that doesn't completely fill the video dimension screen uh, will show the default background color. Nice, right? So yeah, that's a good tip, Marcia. Thanks for letting us bring that one up. Sometimes that's handy, you know, because if this is the background color, then I don't necessarily need to put in like a title clip, you know, or a graphic underneath if I just want a solid background color. Uh, so in this particular example, this might be kind of nice because I can have a video clip playing here, and then what could I do? Well, I could put in a text call out here, right, to maybe explain what's going on here, or, uh, but I have this canvas, colored canvas now, that will be my background. And I didn't have to add a blue placeholder, you know, or, or a blue background image. I just make it blue. Right. Like it, says Tony. Tony's, he likes it. He's easy to please, though. I think it's time. Here we go.